order to change the oil, you will have to purchase an oil filter, a pre-oil change cleaner and an oil collector. You can find the recommended parts and products in the video description as well as in the link to know the type of oil and the amount needed. Turn off the ignition. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the oil fill plug. This will increase the oil flow when performing an oil change. Before changing your oil, we advise adding a pre-draining cleaner to the used oil in your engine. This will enable you to unclog your engine and get rid of any persistent residue to reduce your consumption of oil and fuel and to reduce the polluting emissions as part of a technical checkup. Before using it, start your vehicle for five minutes so that the oil is slightly warm. Then add the product and leave your engine turning over slowly for 10 to 15 minutes. Once the product has been added, you must not drive your car. Ensure that you change the oil immediately afterwards. In order to drain your vehicle, you must first lift the front section of your car. This will enable you to access the drain nut. Lift the front of your vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, racing your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. If the front plastic crankcase is present, you should now remove it to have full access to the drain nut. You can now see the drain nut. Unscrew the drain nut with a 19mm spanner. Start the process with a wrench and finish off by hand. Be careful, on the last few turns of the screw, the oil may suddenly squirt out. You have to anticipate this by placing a container underneath to collect the oil. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos, How to Make a Collector for Liquids. Let the oil run out for 10 minutes or so. On VHU Group vehicles, the seal does not separate from the drain nut. We recommend replacing the old drain nut with a new one each time you drain the oil. Reassemble by hand and finish tightening with a 19mm spanner. When you're draining the oil, you should also replace the oil filter. In order to collect the oil it contains that might flow out when you remove it, place a liquid collector underneath. Using a socket wrench and a 30mm socket, unscrew the oil filter. Finish removing them by hand. When it has been released, turn it upwards to avoid spilling any oil. Take the new filter and compare it with the old one to ensure that they are identical. Lightly coat the seal with oil on the screwed side. This will help avoid too much friction between the seal and the engine block. Friction can reduce the seal's water tightness. Coating with oil also facilitates assembly. Reconnect the filter until it makes contact with the oil filter frame. At this point, add a half turn with a socket wrench to fix it in place. Put the protective crankcase back in place. Now, you have to put the oil back into the motor. You have to be very careful and precise when doing this part of the job. Firstly, lower your car back into the ground and check the oil level. This is something that can only be done when the vehicle is flat. 
Now add the oil into the engine. Begin by putting 90% of the suggested amount. This will leave you a large enough margin to adjust the level of oil appropriately. You can find the exact amount of oil suggested for your car in the description of the tutorial. Close the oil fill plug. Start the engine and let the car run for 5 seconds. This will fill the oil filter. Remove the oil gauge and wipe it down. Plunge it back into its sheath, remove it again and check the oil level. The optimal level is near the maximum, but be careful to never go over it. Based on the level indicated on the gauge, readjust to obtain the optimum amount. Operation completed.